Welcome back guys. Let's move on to our next topic that is HTML formatting. So HTML formatting <clears throat> is basically a way to format a text according to our needs. So as you can see web pages have a lot of text and various text displays different kind of informations. So there is a need to create a distinction or differentiation between two kinds of text. This is how, this is why formatting is required in a typical web page. So HTML comes out with a lot of HTML uh, formatting tags. So it's not possible to cover all of them in one video. So instead we are going to cover some of the most important ones. So this is our sublime text. We are in project one folder. Let's go to the project folder and create a new file and go to file and save it as format demo dot html save so before writing any piece of code let's quickly add a comment which will guide us to what are the tags that we are going to use so the first one is bold, the second one is italic, the third one is underline, the fourth one is subscript, the fifth is superscript, the sixth is strike, through the next one is big and the last one is small so we are going to see these formatting tags so let's start with the html tags so let's add the head tag and the title tag the title tag would say HTML formatting demo and inside over here we will add the body tag which will again contain a h1 which will say HTML, HTML formatting tags so now let's quickly see all the formatting tags one by one so let's add a paragraph so this is a demo of how to format your web content let's quickly copy this and paste it at least two three times like this and let's save it now let's go to the root folder and double click and this is how the page looks now suppose I want this first line to be displayed in bold characters so what I will do is I will go and this is the line that I have to convert or write into bold characters so there is this tag in HTML called B tag B for Bombay you have to just put this text inside B and you have to end it like this so basically what we did is we wrote the entire thing inside B tags and now if you will save and go back to your browser and reload and as you can see this particular content is now in <coughs> bold easy let's move on to the second tag that is italic 
so let's say I have to change this particular line into italic so to change anything a normal text into in italic in HTML you use the I tag like this see like this save reload and if you are able to see this particular line has been changed to italic easy right now let's create a underline text suppose I want to convert this particular line into underline so what I'll do is I'll use the u tag to create an underline like this save and as you can see the text has been underlined next is subscript you must have seen subscript in certain uh, chemistry based websites where you write text like H2O, C2H5, OH the particular 2 the number is a subscript it's a subscript right so let's take an example this is the word demo and it has a 2 in it and we want this to be represented as a subscript so what i'll do is i'll just put this into a sub tag cut and i'll paste it inside so now this whole thing looks like this let's see how it looks on the browser see so whenever you are trying to create a subscript you have to do it like this the next is superscript uh, this is generally used where you use or write mathematical content like e to the power of 5 things like that so now let's pick this demo and add a 2 which will be shown as a power of 2 so let's put superscript cut paste save reload and now this is how it will look when you use a superscript the next one is strike through suppose you want that initially the price of your commodity was 500 but you change the price and now it's 700 you must have seen this a lot with the e-commerce websites where they show that after the discount the price of the particular commodity is this and not that so what we will do is we will write this 500 into the strike tag and see what will happen it will reload now can you see this the 500 being cancelled and the new text is 700 this is how you create strike through text in html last but not the least there are two more tags the one of them is big and the second one is small so there are scenarios where in certain uh, places you have to create a smaller text in a group 
or sometimes a bigger text in a group so this is how you create a big text so I want this demo to be displayed in big and this format to be displayed in smaller texts or font size so now I'll control X control V save reload see this demo text is larger than the other text and this format one is smaller than the other text so this is how you use different formatting tags in HTML